Hey everybody, back with another video in the HVAC Service Technician Series. What we're going to do is we're going to dive into how to be a great service technician and the psychology behind it. We are not going to talk about any technical aspects of this field. We are only going to talk about the psychology and what you need to do as a technician to connect with the customer. So what we're looking at is the, um, we're, we're looking at ourselves as the customer. We want the customer's perception of us to be, you know, way up there, okay? We are going to dress well. We are going to conduct ourselves with manners and politeness. And we are going to, and this is the trick, connect with the customer. Okay, so you have one shot at making that first impression. So, looking nice, that's the key. Second thing is connecting with that customer. Whether it's a homeowner or a business owner, here's how you do it. After introductions, you're brought into their, you know, their, their area, whatever that is, you are going to uh, make a quick glance around their space and you're going to pick up on things that are meaningful to them. It might be in somebody's office and you see their screensaver. Maybe it's them on a fishing trip. Whatever's on their screensaver more than likely means the most to them. So if you see that they have, you know, they caught a sailfish and, and they're out fishing and that's what's on their screensaver, find something inside of you where you can uh, connect with that, that customer using that subject. Or maybe the office is decorated and football memorabilia or maybe there's a university uh, sticker or picture or something on the wall or or maybe you're in somebody's home and you see that they have uh, you know fish or deer uh, hanging on the wall or maybe um, maybe they have photography equipment or maybe they have uh, maybe it's the wife and she's decorated her kitchen with chickens or you know, and it's not so much inside the home, and this all starts when you pull in the driveway, pull in the parking lot. It's 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 the landscaping, it's the building, it's the um, you know what's going on in these. And this is the this is their domain, whether it's at work or, or or at home or in a business. You have to figure out what appeals to these people. It might even be what they're wearing. Maybe they're wearing a university t-shirt or hard to say what they're what they're, what it is but you have to pick up on that then you have to use that to communicate or, co or connect with that person maybe you can bring up hey you know I went on a fishing trip or whatever you don't want to waste too much time and make it feel to the customer like you're jaw jacking and wasting their money but you have to briefly touch base to make that connection. Also, what you want to do is make sure that whatever it is you're doing for that customer, you put in some added value. If you're going in to service the furnace and it's not heating in the dead of winter because their filter's dirty, you can try to talk to them about maybe a, a, a filter changing regimen. You can offer to come do it for them. Um, uh, you can um, suggest different types of filters for them. You can try to make it as easy as possible for them. Um, maybe you're there to uh, service the, uh, the, the furnace and just do a clean and check or whatever the case may be. You want to make sure that you talk to them about all the money saving aspects of their furnace, like keeping the filter changed is going to keep your bills down. Changing the thermostat is going to, or excuse me, changing the thermostat batteries are is going to keep you from on, on Christmas Eve having a no heat call and having to call me out here to change the battery. So you want to change those every time you change your smoke detector batteries. Um, and anything that you can tell them that's a freebie that they can do very simply by themselves. Um, that's going to put added value. And I'm going to tell you, here's another quick little tip that nine times out of ten, if you've got a furnace, you've got a water heater somewhere close by, you can let them know to reduce the amount of, um, of energy that their water heater uses and extend the life of the tank. If they flush that every single time that they're changing their furnace filter, they are able to do kill two birds with one stone 
and they are also gaining efficiency, saving money, and extending the life of their appliance. So that is another free value that you can offer the customer while you're there. All communicating this while fixing the furnace. You do not want to stop and specifically talk about a fishing trip or anything else, but usually when you go to a, a customer's house or a customer's business, um, not, not, not so much in the uh, commercial aspect, they're not going to follow you and be right behind you in a home. A homeowner will. They'll follow you right down into the basement and you know, want to see everything you're doing. And that's, that's a great time to communicate things while you're checking things out. In that commercial aspect, again, you have, you have less items to choose from, less, less of a personal aspect of whoever you're dealing with, but you have to make sure that you connect with that, that customer. If you, if you have nothing, if you're looking around, there's just nothing that you can connect with or you know nothing about sports or nothing about whatever it is that you can see that they're interested in, then just make sure that you pay compliments. The best way to make fee people feel good about you is for you to make them feel good about themselves. Every time I say, man, you got a nice business here or wow, your landscaping is tremendous or, you know, if it's a you know do not compliment shoes do not compliment because that can be taken the wrong way do not compliment anything personal just compliment on the achievements that you can see as an outsider coming into their space or their domain okay hopefully that kind of gives us a, a little bit of a idea gives you a little bit of an idea on how to approach um, customers and how to make sure you make that connection this is a very important aspect as far as being a service technician and one that you should implement. Practice it on friends and family and anybody you see um, and, and, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, rate the, uh, the, the channel here, and click like and all that stuff. But uh, thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for more HVAC technician uh, videos uh, coming up in this series.